Saturday's Occupy Lekki tollgate process, uh, protest leaves a sour taste in the mouth of Nigerians as the Lagos State Governor Babajide Saonlu and Lagos State Commissioner Police Hakim Odumosu condemns the molestation of protesters and have ordered investigations into the incident. And again, former head of crisis, the Mieti Allah, are standing their grounds and claiming that nobody can force them out of the Southwest. This is Plus Politics, and I am Mary Anako. Now, up to 40 protesters were arrested by the police last Saturday while trying to protest over the decision of the Lagos State Judicial Panel of Inquiry trying to reopen the Lekki toll gate and hand it over to the Lekki Concession Company. The Lagos State Commissioner of Police, Hakim Odumosu, had condemned the molestation of the arrested Lekki toll gate protesters and demanded an immediate investigation into the incident. And joining us to discuss this is Public Affairs Analyst Uche Chuta, Public Relations Officer of the Police in Lagos State, Muiwa Adejobi, and security expert, Ruth Olofi. Thank you very much, gentlemen and lady, for joining us on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we would like to start this segment with uh, a video, a stand-up from um, last week Saturday. Our correspondent, Osarage, was at the Lekki Tollgate. Let's just have a look and feel, and then we'll come back and have this conversation. Still live here at the Lekki Tollgate this morning. Of course, a few minutes ago, uh, we saw a protester being arrested. He claimed he was from uh, Soare's camp. And, uh, of course, uh, he was quickly whisked away by men of the security agencies here. Uh, there's also a little scuffle between uh, uh, the police and the press this morning. Uh, restrictions uh, as to where they can cover and where they can go and how far across the line over there that they can cross. Um, of course, uh, we would continue to do a follow-up this morning and see if anything changes. But it's currently still very peaceful here. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of activity from protesters or from any of the hashtag Occupy Lekki Tollgate uh, team. There's also expectations that uh, they might still show up and uh, we will be here to cover. Well, uh, I just wanted us to take a look at that video and then we'll start the conversation. I'm going to start with the police public relations officer for Lagos State. Now, we saw images, disturbing videos on social media flying everywhere. We saw some on our traditional media. Uh, but let's just on the note that um, government had said that, you know, had warned, the federal and state governments, including the police, had warned that this protest should not happen. Uh, they had warned that they would not stand for um, any protest that would not be peaceful. Um, but then we saw passerbys, you know, being arrested also and uh, put into the Black Maria that was parked at the toll gate. So I want to ask you, um, Mr. Dejabi, what orders were the policemen at that toll gate given? What exactly was the order? Was it to arrest anybody on site? Was it to stop any form of violence? What exactly was it? Because I remember a, a CNN correspondent kept trying to ask the police officers, the senior police officers on the scene, what are your orders? Why are you arresting these people? What is their crime? So please, il illuminate us. Well, you, you, you recall that uh, before uh, Saturday, I think on Thursday, the Lagos State government and the police command had a joint press briefing to make the position of the government and the police known. Uh, it was clearly stated that there won't be any protest under any guise in the states for many reasons. One, that the aftermath of the last uh, NSAS protest that was eventually adjudged uh, by some criminal-minded individuals, the aftermaths are still very fresh, groaning in pains of the aftermaths, either on the side of the government, individuals, and of the police and other security agencies. Uh, secondly, that um, the police and the government were aware of the dangers uh, 
we, we might experience, considering the second wave of COVID-19 pandemic, uh, that is contrary to the law of the states for people to gather or to do things that will break uh, COVID-19 protocols, which might project or uh, spread the pandemic. And the government and the police made this known to those who wanted to come out to protest. Aside that, the government made it known that um, they miscontrolled or misconceptualized judgment of the panel uh, was not enough uh, basis to stage any protest again because the, the judgment had never given power to any company to go and open the toll gate. And we tried our best to appeal to them, including their parents, not to allow anybody to come out for any protest. All right, I'd like to ask you, Mr. Mr. I'd like to ask, is this your job? Because protests are constitutionally allowed. We are in a democracy and people are allowed to protest peacefully. Now, and you are talking about COVID, so let's go there. We're allowed 50 people to gather per time. As at the time that your men started um, rounding up people at that toll gate, they were not up to 20 you people were just I remember there was a video of a guy who was just walking past and he you know policemen were running after him there were there were there was not a gathering per se was there and if there were COVID-19 rules that you know you guys had a problem with we see these people that you arrested packed like sardines in your black maria so you also are complicit in breaching the COVID-19 rules aren't you Uh, can you hear me? Oh, I think he's frozen. Um, but let's go to Uche. Uche, uh, I'd like to take your thoughts on... Oh, I, I think we're having a little internet connection problem. But Uche, what, what's your take on what happened um, on Saturday at the Lekki Toll Plaza before we go to Ruth? Okay, so the same sentiment, you know, Nigerians have a constitutional right to protest peacefully. Um, regarding COVID um, regulations, there were less than 50 people as of the point of time that they arrested the people. And even then, the people who were arrested were placed in a black maria and like common criminals and, and packed all together like sardines, clearly violating any COVID social distancing in place. So the police who just claimed that they were trying to avoid, you know, COVID related issues, packed the people in that black maria all together, then I mean, I don't. How do you connect both stances? So it's it's insincere. It's insincere by the police. It's insincere by the government. Um, I really, I mean, there, there's no excuse for what happened. So I know we're trying to, you know, everybody's trying to do PR and everything, but there's really no excuse for what happened. But then again, um, just to play devil's advocate for Mr. Gunjobi, who is not here, um, the government had said that they they sort of put out a statement saying, do not come out. And that was, that's what he was buttressing. Uh, and, and then we saw the number of police officers who were dressed, you know, ready for riot ready um, at the toll gate, even though nothing really happened. Um, I mean, couldn't that have been a deterrent of sorts for the protesters to know what was coming for them if they did show up? Yeah, well, the, the problem, there's, there's a root problem. The root problem is that the, the government is scared of NSARS. Um, they're scared of NSARS because they see it as a bomb. And it, it, can, like, it can explode at any point of time, you know. And they're like, they, they don't really know what to do. So they're grabbing at straws, trying to, like, they, they're confused. And that's why you saw all those police there. They, I mean, if, if 10,000 people came out to protest, those 200 um, police were not never going to be enough. So um, it's, uh, it's, I, they, they, they actually don't know exactly what they're doing. They're confused. They need to understand the situation more. They just need to go directly to root causes. Why do people come out on the streets? They're coming out on the streets because they complain of police brutality. Deal with that. That's the root issue right now that needs to be dealt with. All right, back to uh, the police PR if we've got him. Uh, I would like for you to respond to the question that I asked initially.
I, I think we don't have him. Um, let's go to Ruth. Ruth, you're a security operative. You're a security expert. Uh, you saw the happenings on Saturday um, at the Lekki Toll Plaza, and you saw the videos, you saw the pictures, you saw uh, the live feed. Um, was that a professional way of handling security, especially for a protest that seemingly was peaceful? Okay, thank you. Good evening, everyone. Um, so my quick reaction is that we need to look at um, this fundamentally. One, we have a constitution that has guaranteed um, peaceful, uh, a right to uh, peaceful protest. And while you have those people there, they are essentially protesting against government plans to reopen the Lekki toll gates. And those pictures that we have seen just shows that they were professional misconduct of the police. So the people you have there, the pictures that have been seen so far, there was nothing there that talks about violence, you know, or protesters, you know, running around or trying to cause mayhem. We all have a right to protest. If I feel that something is not right with the government or the way it's going about governance issues, I should be able to come out to the street peacefully you know, to air my voice. So that is the reasons you have uh, um, those people come out on Saturdays. Now, on the part of the police, that was not professional. We need to say it as it is. What it means is that the, po the, the, the police essentially puts itself that your coming out, you know, essentially just shows that you are going to break the law. Why not give the citizens the benefit of the doubt? Yes, um, NSAS protests of um, 2020, somewhere along the line, it was hijacked. But the posture of the police is to say that, you know, there's already a plan, you know, that this is going to be hijacked. So let's all go out in a riot mood. So for people who were just walking past, you saw a video of a police personnel running, practically running after a young man. And you ask yourself the question that, what has this person done? Even for those who are alleged to just be passers-by, the police picked them up. Now, bringing them together in Black Maria, it further shows where the police has put some of these issues. Everybody is a potential criminal. Hmm. So uh, there were clear violation of the fundamental rights of citizens to, to protest, to air their view. And you saw people, even whilst in the Black Maria, they kept talking that, you know, we have a right to protest. Don't come and clamp down on those rights. So you begin to ask yourself that, are we in a military era? Well, that's a that question. Our rights well, well, are no longer guaranteed. Well, that's an interesting question, Ruth. So, but I'm going to I'm going to pose that question to uh, the senior advocate of Nigeria, Mr. Femi Falana, who's just joining us now, um, because we need to talk about the constitutional rights of the average Nigerian, and we all know that protesting is a right that we have under a democracy. Uh, can we have Mr. Falana? Because I want to ask this question. Severally, lawyers went to police stations to try to get or secure the release of these young men and women who were uh, arrested by police officers at Lekito. And it, it, it was very difficult to get across um, to them. Well, unfortunately, Mr. Falana has gotten off the grid. We'll try to get him back on. I do not know if we still have uh, Mr. Muiwa back on the line. Is he back on the line so we can get his reactions on this? Is the police PR still on? All right, Mr. Muiwa. I'm still, I'm still with you. Great, we have you back. So I wanted to ask, let's talk about the dehumanizing way that these people, protesters, by the way, they're not robbers, uh, they're not criminals, they were just showing up to protest, and some of them were just pass passers-by. Um, the dehumanizing way that these people um, were treated, we hear that some of them were stripped down to their underwear, and, and they were handcuffed like common criminals. Um, but they were just doing the, their job as citizens to protest, which is also their right. So um, why, why would the police be so d demeaning to the average citizen who was just a protester, was not violent, just showed up to a protest ground? Can we address that? Well, well, well. On, on that particular uh, molestation, 
the Commissioner of Police Lagos State, C.P. Akim Olusheg Mudumusu, has condemned that. And I made a statement, I released a statement on behalf of the C.P. to that effect, that that particular act has been condemned in totality by the Commissioner of Police. He has instituted investigation into that particular uh, misdemeanor because nobody has sent the, the men to do that. He has directed that the DC, Deputy Commissioner of Police in charge of um, CID Infanti, to fish out the men and, of course, bring them to book. He gave him the instruction again this morning that by tomorrow, Tuesday, uh, 16 February 2021, he wants the report of that particular investigation on his table. But I ask again, I ask again, who gave the orders? Because I know that police officers do not work without orders. What were their initial orders? No, because no, I do not think, gave them the order once to... again, I do not think that these men acted on their own. So are you telling me that you have rogue police officers? Again, at a, at a place where soldiers who said they, went, they were invited, allegedly, to a toll gate until today we're still talking about that issue now you're telling me that you have rogue police officers who acted on their own and treated normal nigerian citizens as criminals is this some form of a message that the police does not have a handle yet again on its officers and men like i was saying no nobody has sent them to beat them up nobody has sent them to arrest them in any way and that is why the Commissioner of Police has instituted investigation into that particular incident. We condemned it in totality, and the command has come out clearly to condemn that in totality. So the, the command is willing to update the general public on the outcome of the investigation. We'll keep you posted. As this be said, that it was reports to be on his table by tomorrow, Tuesday. So the, the, that particular act, was was condemned and is we still condemn it so nobody has given them order to to arrest or to molest the the, the suspects that were picked at lucky to gate isn't this, the, re isn't this the reason why we had the answers process in the beginning which was police brutality um, average nigerians saying they're being wrongly profiled they're being harassed they're being bitten up by police officers rogue police officers and a year, barely a year down the line, we're seeing the same thing repeat itself at the same location where these people were protesting against these rogue police officers. And you just have told us that, that these police officers were not given any orders to do what they did. Again, I'm going to ask that question because you didn't hear me. Does this mean that the police does not have control over its men? No, 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 no. That is not, that's not the issue. Don't mix it up. I have just stated clearly that no senior officer will have given them instruction to beat anybody up or to molest anybody. When they were picked, they were moved from, from Togate to Adeniji Adelie Police Station. Then from there, they were moved to Panti to take their statements and, of course, to face the mobile court. So at that point in time, nobody, as at the time they picked them from Togate, to identify the delay, they were still with their phones. They were still um, putting on their clothes. Or suddenly, we discovered that from identity at the delay to Fanti, we discovered that there was a video that was released and went viral, seeing them naked. The men making uncomplimentary statements. Uh, I the commissioner think... of police, and that's why he insisted investigation immediately. And he condemned the act. Nobody has given them a pass at the back that this, what they have done is good. No. No. The command has condemned that, and that's why the CP said they should give a report of that investigation on or before tomorrow, Tuesday, 16th February. So okay. we have condemned that actually, and we, we, we want to tell you today that we're going to make the, the, the report of the findings known to Nigerians. We go to update you on this development. We condemn it actually, and I still maintain it okay. that the command has condemned that. The CP personally has condemned it. So he couldn't have given them order to do so. At the same time, condemning what they have done. No, he has condemned it outrightly, and that's what I wanted to take note of. All right, back to you, Uche. Um, <laughs>
initially, the reason why these protesters decided to occupy Lekito, like um, we st stated at the beginning, was because uh, of the fact that uh, the LCC was given an order to reopen the tour, um, and they found it unacceptable because they're still asking that justice be done to those who um, felt like they were um, abused, they were, um, for those who also said they were shot at during uh, the October 2020 um, at Lekki Tollgate. Do you think that there's going to be justice given to these people anytime soon? I mean, the police, here we go again, the police is saying that they will do whatever it takes to bring their officers, uh, the, the errant officers, to justice. Um, do we see any justice being served anytime soon? I don't think so. I mean, we're used to this in Nigeria. It's now, we know where we live in. We know, well, I don't live there right now, but we know Nigeria for what it is. The NSAS, we understand why was it NSAS? It's because they have a unit called SAS, which they claim has been disbanded, which are harassing young people. Till today, young people are still harassed by police officers. They were harassed again. Look at this video right now. See them hitting that man in that video. What did that guy do? They're hitting them. Um, Mr. Macaroni explain how they beat them thoroughly. You keep on hearing, oh, errant officers. Are they not your officers? Are they not working for you guys? It's part, I mean, the, the police force, we have to accept it. It's a failed institution. They were set up only to maintain law and order in the sense of oppressing the people, making sure quelling protests down from the colonial days down to now. This is the reason why we keep on pushing for state police because we always, when people say state police, they don't necessarily mean they just want the entire force to be reorganized because clearly those the police force has failed. All they know is how to harass citizens, share money among themselves, and just you know constitute a, a new a public nuisance. This is not what police is supposed to do. You're supposed to be harassing people, removing their clothes, beating them, and picking the videos and spreading all around social media and saying we'll kill you and nothing will happen. The police on video said if this happened in the night, they will kill these people. That they're lucky I happen to do in daytime, that if we happen during the night, all of them will be dead. That's what the police people said. If Mr. Macaroni, who was the only prominent person who they arrested, wasn't dead, they would have killed those 39 other boys. It's because we all know him and we all cried out. If not, they would have killed the 39 other boys. The same thing they've been doing. Apple 5 go, comes to mind. People, all people were involved in Apple 5 are now senior officers in the police force. What can the police force do? The same nonsense we keep on seeing every single time. Interesting. Ruth? Would you like to add to what he said? He has um, sufficiently captured um, the views that uh, uh, generalities of Nigeria, um, Nigerians have on these issues. Um, the CP condemning these officers uh, for their misconduct, well, it's fine, but we sincerely just hope that it's not for the optics. One of the challenges you have when it comes to police accountability, especially internal accountability, is the fact that the political will to, you know, hold their men to account is often lacking. And the previous speaker has just um, shared various instances. So uh, it's to just encourage the police that on this instance, the eyes of the world are on them. So we want to see that the police is going to actually hold its men to account. So if there's a, a report that is going to come out according to um, the PRO, let's see that men are held to account. Know that at the end of the day, you are asking who are these people. And by the way, we just need to also interrogate how is the police saying that they don't know who gave these officers orders, you know, to go and beat up the protesters at Lekki. I think it's a fundamental issue that the police needs to go back and ask itself. They know the answers. We don't know the answers. So, but men needs to be fished out. And at the end of the day, accountability for our victims of uh, um, the lucky, lucky death. All right, before we wrap this up, I want us to quickly take a, a short look at the video that was released by Mr. Macaroni after he got bail, uh, and then we'll uh, give our closing statements. What did I, uh, popularly known as Mr. Macaroni. Um, so I want to thank everyone out there, you know, for uh, speaking up. Uh, I want to thank everyone for the show of love. My phones are bad, so I can't even really take calls or reply messages and all that. But I'm here. Um... <clears throat> so finally, I'm coming to you again, Mr. Muywa. Um, 
the, the feel we got from Mr. Macaroni was a feeling of fear. And this is what every average Nigerian feels when they come in contact with a police officer. In other climes, in saner climes, when you see a police officer, you feel safer. You can walk, you know, with your shoulders high because you know that nothing bad can happen to you. But the reverse is the case in Nigeria. How can we regain that trust in the police force to be certain that when you see a police officer, you don't have negative thoughts or think of running? And uh, we, 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 we don't need to be sentimental about issues like this. Is that time we started respecting our laws in this country? It was stated clearly that we had intelligence that this so called protests will be hijacked again. We will not fall hands. Was it hijacked? Did you even have a protest in the first place? The pro protest didn't even happen. And the police happened instead of the protest. What entail would make you treat protesters who were well, peaceful? The, 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 the job of the police, and you're saying this, laws. This, if we're this, talking about, hold on, sir. If we're talking about respecting laws, the laws of the country includes that uh, of the right of a, a Nigerian to protest peacefully. And your job no as a No fundamental marriage is absolute. Let me correct you on that. Of course, of course. They find their of laws, course. they find their, they can I, they can find I just, their rights. Can I just land so that you can com conclude? The fundament, one of the fundamental laws for every human being is the right to associate, the right to be heard. But I'm saying that in this regard, these protesters were going to be peaceful. Whether you got intel or not, your job as the police, shouldn't it be to make sure that that pe protest was peaceful instead of just off the cuffs, arresting every human being you saw at the toll gate? That's wrong. Police was not just arresting any human being they, they saw at the toll gate. Let me correct you on that. Then the, the most beautiful thing about the law is the exception of that particular law. All these provisions in the Constitution, they have the exceptions. I think people just need to go and read exceptions to some of these provisions of the law. Even with the right, the right to life, which says you cannot take anybody's life, has exceptions. The one I see like But the they most have a right to peaceful the gatherings, well, and no they had barely gathered, Mr. Can Mewa. I land, please? Can I land? If you want me to talk, can I land? Yes, please. Please let me say what I want to say, please. No fundamental marriage is absolute, like I said. There are exceptions to many laws. Most of the laws we have, they have exceptions. We just read the first paragraph of the law, we will not bother to read the exceptions to some of these provisions of the law. It was clearly stated that these people should not come out for any protest, for many reasons. And when we got intelligence report that there will be defend Lagos and occupy Legito Gate. A reasonable police institution will do what the command had done by warning them not to come out and give their reasons. They do not come out. Fine, they have the right to protest, they have the right to association, guardian, and the likes. But when such rights are in conflict with security situations, security networking on ground, I think that will take precedence. That's why we went out to warn them not to come out. And whatever we have done, we have not done anything out of the same provisions of the law. And that's All why right. they were arrested and to court. If there are any other things they want to raise, the adjournment is on 2nd of March, 2021. Issues can be raised before the court. The matter is, okay. on, is before a competent a court of competent jurisdiction. All right. Quickly, let's just take the reactions of uh, Roos and Shuta um, quickly in, in a minute. So he said that they did not do anything wrong. Quickly, um, Ruth. So um, I think it's quite strange that the uh, police um, personnel is saying that they didn't do anything wrong. And in another breath, say that, you know, there were those officers that um, actually fouled the law. You know, we need to be very clear about this. Clearly, the fundamental human rights of people to protest was threatened on Saturday. And police is at the heart of it. So we can't sit here and say that there are exceptions to the law. It's not in this circumstance we begin to say there are exceptions to it. Okay. If the, if the government and the police had said that, yes, don't come out to protest, and you see how people protesting, I maintain my position that what the police would have done is come out and see if this peaceful protest actually went violent. But the posture of the police, even before that action, was that there's going to be like a riot, in quotes, and so prepare the men 
you know, to stop okay. the area and then pick anybody on site. All right, Ruth, that we don't, we don't very, have too much time, so we just want to take Uche's um, remarks quickly. Uche, can you do it in 30 seconds so we can wrap this up? As a simple message to the police, regardless of what you do, you can't stay in your house and issue commands and say, don't come out. We're not children. Nigerian youth are not children. I heard a comment you made very insulting, saying, well, we told our parents to tell the children to stay at home. I, I feel sorry for you because you're facing, the majority of the population in Nigeria are young people, and you're going to face these guys for a very long time. And they honestly, this is just the beginning. So you better, the police okay. must better think of better ways of how to police these young people. That's my way I'm going to tell you. All right. Thank you very much. Muiwa at Dejobi is the police public relations officer for Lagos State. Uche Chuta is a public affairs analyst and Ruth Olofi is a security expert. Thank you very much, lady and gentlemen, for being part of the conversation. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you for having All me. All right. Well, we'll take a short break now. And when we return, we'll be looking at the Mieti Allah who have vowed to resist any plan to evict them out of the South. We're saying that they have a right to live anywhere in the country. Stay with us.